Yes. Everybody going nuts here at Oracle Arena, the fans, the team. This is long overdue. The Warriors upset the Dallas Mavericks, and now they're moving on. It's been a long way for these fans. Oh, I'm so fired up. I can't believe that the Warriors made it past the first round, let alone made the playoffs. I can't believe it. I've been to a Super Bowl game. Compares to this. This is totally awesome. Go Warriors. Mavericks who? Dirk who? Overrated. Overrated. Simple as that. 67 wins doesn't mean anything. Unbelievable for the Bear. Anything Charles Barkley says about the Bear, he has no idea. We believe! Do you believe? Do you believe? We believe! We believe! to come back to Oracle Arena. It's not over. The Warriors are moving on to round two. At Oracle Arena, Holly Juson, Ron for News. Adversity has never stopped 21-year-old San Francisco resident Tommy Lee from his passion, breakdancing. Kind of a way for me to get away and just focus on something. That was good. In the second grade, Lee was placed in foster care and spent his childhood in countless homes. Then, at the age of 18, it seemed he would never dance again. I was diagnosed with osteosarcoma, which is um, a tumor in the bone. The tumor was cancerous, forcing doctors to amputate Lee's right leg from above the knee. But the chemo and life-altering surgery didn't stop Lee from breakdancing. He even practiced in the hospital. I had a lot of sad moments, but in my head, I always had to push myself. The hard work paid off, and Lee became a part of the Golden State Warriors breakdance troupe, GS Lightning, wowing fans during breaks in the game. He says the playoff games have been magical. I don't know how to explain it. It's really amazing when everybody yells and it's loud and you're in the middle, it's really exciting. Lee says he hopes the Warriors go all the way, but no matter what, he knows his life is on the right path. I just know that there's a good I have to keep pushing. In San Francisco, Tamar Sarkisian, Cron 4 News.